Hi guys, Zach here with another Command & Conquer Red Alert video. In this video, I'm playing a couple of quick match matches, and the first match is on the map Keep Off The Grass. I'm starting in the top left position, playing as the Allies. My opponent is Austinite, who's also playing as the Allies. Now, Austinite's a pretty good quick match player. He's ranked in the top 20, um, so yeah, he's, it's uh, quite a high level match, this. And uh, what you can see, is we build our built downwards because any person who plays quick matches and players keep off the grass will know there is a gem patch in the middle and it's really essential that you get to those gems um right at the start and um, so you can start mining them, mining them um it's pretty much all players do that unless in some circumstances a player decides to maybe take their mcv somewhere and sort of do like a sneak attack and sometimes it does those sort of tactics do work, but not not very often. So maybe when people play players who they are like uh, they know they're going to lose against, they might try and do something like a bit uh, a bit different and just get and just surprise them. So what you can see now is I've got a bit of scouting to the north of the map. That is very very important because you need to be able to see what your opponent's doing and you need to see where he's bringing infantry to and you can see he's got quite a number of infantry along the top of that map um now i'm going for a second uh, war factory straight away and um, which is quite unusual what usually people tend to do is a trend to go for a pillbox crawl along the gem patch in the middle but it seems we both haven't opted for that at the moment and i've got that war factory down and immediately i'm building uh, tanks from it and you can see he's got a lot of infantry at that top part of the map, so I'm going to have to be very, very, very careful. And I'm just bringing a few more infantry up there. And you can see my tanks are starting to come out now. And I'm starting to build that second ore refinery. Once I've got enough tanks, what I'll do is I will take them to the middle and I will try and go for his ore truck. And you can see he's starting to make a bit of movement with his infantry there. And I'm going to respond. And now that I've got three light tanks, I'm going to go for that uh, ore truck in the middle. So um, let's see if this uh, can go. You can see he's got a pillbox there. Now, in hindsight, what I definitely should have done, and I think this is probably what I should have, what I should have done anyway, is I should have gone for medium tanks because medium tanks just do a whole lot better when you've got base defences. And on this map, you're going to expect your opponent to have base defences. Okay, light tanks build a little bit quicker, but I don't think they were the right call in this situation and you can see he's still got those infantry there and um, so I'm just uh, using those I've got a large power plant now to make sure I don't lose power because I am going to go for some base defenses of my own and you can see we're trying to take that ore truck out but it's still got a bit of HP left and we're getting some of these base defenses in the bottom left of my base in case my opponent goes on the attack and my opponent is using medium tanks and I definitely think the opponent's got the best tanks in this position. But you can see his ore truck is a low on health. And how are we going to get it? Because this is like a game changer. And that was so close. That was so, so close. Uh, but he's managed to save that ore truck. And you can see he's got quite a number of medium tanks. And he's going for my ore truck now. And yeah, that was probably a bit s stupid of myself. I should have probably sent that ore truck to that ore patch with my other ore truck. I managed to get his ore truck down, so that's a big, big win for us, because I don't see any other ore trucks. And what it's going to be depend on now is does he have the resources to build another ore refinery? Uh, you can see he's got so many medium tanks, though. This is going to be very, very hard for us to uh, still win this, uh, even though we've got an ore truck. Uh, so what I've done here is I'm just pulling this back to the ore patch. I will see if he tries to run his uh, medium tanks right through. Uh, he's going for that turret at the moment. Turrets do a decent hit, uh, damage against um, medium tanks. Um, and you can see it's uh, he's got stuff everywhere at the moment from all sides of my base. Um, so it's just a case of trying to survive at the moment. And you can see he's got those medium tanks going for a power plant. Fortunately, I do have that large power plant. So I've got plenty of resources. And now he's pulling his medium tanks back. And I'm just doing a bit of squash, getting an infantry squash there. And you can see he's got his medium tanks grouped together. He's got a couple on low HP though. I've managed to take it. We've managed to take those low HP out, but he's still outnumbering me. It's four to two uh, tanks at the moment, and I'm gonna have to pull back. So I'm in a very tricky position at the moment because yes, I have an ore truck, but it's collecting ore very, very slowly. 
And we're just building a turret there for a bit more defense against those medium tanks. And you can see I've lost the top part of my base at the moment. Um, so I'm going to have to pull back to the bottom part of my base and just stay there. And I think I've lost those buildings at the top at the moment. So I've got a bit of uh, ore left. And yeah, I missed actually that construction yard. I should have really uh, sold it because uh, that would have helped me an awful lot. Right, so you can see he's coming down now with his medium tanks uh, and he's a few infantry and he's still got uh, four medium tanks left. Now, my tanks are on very low HP and it's really hard when you're outnumbered and there uh, you can see he's got that uh, tank down. And I'm just selling that uh, ore refinery uh, because there's no point in having two at the moment. I've only got one ore truck um, and I could do really do with the funds at the moment. So we're going to be able to produce a tank. But unfortunately that war factory is going to go down. But at least I've got a few infantry from it. Uh, and yeah, we're just trying to take those medium tanks down right this minute. And uh, we've managed to get... Uh, it looks like we're going to get one of, one of those medium tanks down. But he's going for my ore truck at the moment. So I'm just pulling it away. But uh, there's nothing I can do in this situation. Uh, my turret and my pillbox getting a bit of uh, damage done on those medium tanks. But it's no use. My ore truck is going to go down. And what happened after this was it was a bit of a stalemate. Uh, we were both standoffish because we didn't want to go into each other's base defences. And so I've winded it on and it was actually over four minutes uh, into the game, further into the game. And basically we got on just a standoff and it, no one wanted to attack each other's base. And it, eventually I gave in and just went for his base. He only had two buildings left. Um, yeah, and I had three buildings left, but... Uh, as you can see, it didn't go too well for me. He had his infantry there, and I wasn't able to destroy that pillbox. And that was good game. So it wasn't a bad showing. There was a few, couple of mistakes I did there. I think one of the main ones was with the medium tanks. If I uh, if I built medium tanks instead of light tanks at the start, I think it might have been very very different. And also selling that construction yard uh, before it was destroyed. Right, so this is the second game. It's on Arena Valley Extreme against a player called Hooker. And he's playing in the top left and playing in the bottom right. And we're both playing as the allies. And you can see I've moved my MCV to the left to go for that ore patch to the left of my base. And the reason I do that instead of instant deploy is because the ore patch on the left has a lot more gems. And I like to do a strategy on this map called the Three War Factory Start. And what that means is you build your third war factory before your second ore refinery. And I think it's quite a powerful start, especially if you're getting tanks out uh, nice and early. And it does very well if your opponent goes for a multi-MCV strategy, uh, because you can get a lot of tanks out quickly and you can go for an early attack. Because a multiple MCV strategy is quite common on this map, especially if your opponents are playing as the Soviets. I mean, because the Soviets do are notorious for struggling against allied players on this map. Um, but we are both um, allies at the moment. But even then, you do sometimes see allied players going for that multi-MCV strategy. Right, so you can see that uh, Hooker is doing sort of like a big semicircle around his base with his infantry. Just to block any scouts that I, I send. And you can see he's uh, sending like about five scouts of his own. And he's going for that top gap. And I was sort of aware of this, but then he sort of sees it and sort of retreats and goes the other way. So that sort of like took me a bit by surprise because uh, I did lose a couple of games against him on this map the other day. Um, so I was expecting that to happen, uh, but then I take those infantry down and you can see I've managed to sort of like uh, block those infantry there. He's had to take two infantry back and he's got an infantry there so let's see is he going to get him through to my base and you can see I've got good visibility and I've managed to take it out without too much effort because he sort of just ran it into my infantry because he couldn't see what was in front of him and that that means that he doesn't have visibility on my base which is a very good thing because I don't want him to know exactly where my MCV is and I don't want him to uh, just have general visibility and know what I'm doing and when we looked at his base we can see he's got two war factories out and he's one for two or trucks straight away. So our strategies are very similar at the moment. And you can see he's building light tanks. And also I'm building light tanks also. Now, yeah, you can see he's expanded to that second ore patch to the right of his base. 
and um, that's what like all players do in that position because you just need to spread your ore trucks among different ore patches there's also a lot of gems to the right of his base and i think he's sending that or truck there and you can see he's built another or refinery so this is where our strategy differs because you can see i've built three war factories and um, so i'm building my second or refinery now and we'll see how his strategy uh, continues to develop now he's bought brought six light tanks down to the uh my, which are going to my base i've got five light tanks that are going to his base and the reason people do that is to try and get an mcv jump uh, on their opponents um, so it's quite a common tactic. You can see I've got my light tanks around my MCV at the moment. And I do, I've got to sort of go up. What I should have done is I should have gone right to the left and then gone up. So I've gone up a bit, bit at the wrong point and this hasn't worked out well for me. So I've, uh, I would have to pull back at that point. And you can see he's on top of my MCV now. And this is uh, quite crucial at the moment. Um, and we can see I don't have many... I don't I just don't have enough tanks to defend and it looks like he's going to get that in that MCV down now in hindsight what I probably should have done is I should have probably built engineers because they can sort of like help repair and things like that now he's gone for that ore refinery it hasn't worked out well for him because he's losing a lot of tanks and now he's pulling back but now he's got a construction yard I don't so he's got the uh, upper hand at this point in time you can see he's built that third war factory and he's also got another ore refinery a third ore refinery out he's still got he's got five ore trucks in total I've got six ore trucks in total and um, so even though he's got more ore refineries he hasn't used at uh, any time to build ore trucks from his war factories and you can see now the fight's going on in the middle and um, we're starting to push through and he's pulling back and you can see he's getting reinforcements from the top uh, to join those now what he wants me to do is he wants me to go around that crater so he can just pick my tanks off as they come around but i'm not going to let him do that and i'm going to go straight through and i'm going to the top left to his base so you can see he's bringing his tanks around now but this is going to give me a chance to group my tanks up before i go on the attack because you really have to think about your positioning of your tanks um, and how to use them most effectively. At the moment, you can see his tanks are sort of getting stuck around that group of trees. And this is looking good for me at the moment. I'm starting to be able to push forward. Although we do still have similar tank numbers. I've, I've just had a pretty good exchange there. And you can see we're sort of like pushing him back now a little bit. And we're just getting near his base, but uh, we don't want to go for the base dive at this point, else we will lo lose our tank mass, and it will give him a massive upper hand. Because I don't have a construction yard, I can't really afford to, for him to get into my base at all, because any buildings I lose, I can't rebuild. And we can see now that Hooker has gone for his fourth war factory. And I think that might be a bit of a mistake, because he's only got five ore trucks, and I don't really think five ore trucks can sustain four war factories. Um, so, but that is his, his tactic at this point in the game. And you can see those gems are running very low on those ore patches now. So, um, and at the moment, it's looking decent. It's still very, very even. It's still very, very close. And we're going to see, is he going to start building defences? He might start to build turrets and things like that. But you can see, we're just going for, it's all out warfare at the moment. And it's medium tanks v medium tanks. He's transitioned to medium tanks as of high. And as we can see, it's very, very close at the moment. But it looks like I might be getting a slight upper hand. Uh, I think I have about one or two tanks more than he does at the moment. And as he pulls his tanks back, I go for that ore truck. And we've got one of his ore trucks down. And that's big. That's very big. He's only got five ore trucks. So that's 20% of his economy gone. And... Yeah, you can see now my numbers are really starting to build. And you can see that all patch is just completely decimated um, at the right of his base. And he hasn't been able to expand down to the ore patch further down. So this is putting a very big strain on his economy. And you can see his tanks are going now. Um, and this is putting... And it looks like it's going to be near the end of the game. And you can see I'm taking our ore truck now. And now he's going to be down. If that is our truck going to go down. And it does. And that means he's down to three ore trucks. I'm on six ore trucks. And there'll be no coming back for him on this game. I think he just made a big mistake. I think he should have focused a little bit more on economy. Um, to really sustain those extra war factories. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video.